guys, good morning, Chris here. Uh, chilling at home and I'm taking pictures of shirts today for a story sale that I'm gonna do shortly. So you'll see you got this Terminator tee. And I thought about uh, listing and taking photos of shirts and how tedious that process is. And I wanna share with you guys some tips for taking great photos and doing it really quickly when you're listing a bunch of tees. What I like to do is called uh, flat lay. So I love laying tees down on the ground and just taking a nice square photo of them for Instagram. You could use these photos for everything. I feel like it gives your customers a good view of how the shirt looks. Something about it being flat, like you want to pick it up. Like you just want to pick it up and put it on. I like that. So there's three ways for you to lay your tees out that look really nice. One of them is the flat lay. The second one is and a flat lay, but it's like got a style to it where it kind of looks like an arrow going up. And then the third one is the messy look. So I'll show you how to do all three right now and how I achieve that look. So the first one we're going to go with is the flat lay. This shirt is super thin and it's harder to do a flat lay on these. Uh, you'll see that I'm doing it on this rug here. The rug kind of helps to hold the shirt down, but you don't have to do it. I do it on my hardwood floor as well. And the same technique will work. You just have to have a softer hand when doing it on the hardwood. All right, here we go, rug. This is how we do it. So here you go. You got your balled up shirt here. It's all messy. And now you need to lay it down. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it from the bottom of the shirt like this and kind of just like make sure that I'm grabbing it evenly. See, if I'm holding it like this, you see how down here by the collar, it kind of looks like all bunched up. So what you wanna do is you wanna get it so it's nice and flat on the back. There you go. Now the back looks nice and flat. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the ground just like that. I don't know how to articulate that movement, but yeah, you do something like that. All right, now that you have your shirt flat on the ground, at least this bottom half here, uh, we gotta work on the sleeves. So what we're gonna do for the sleeves is we're gonna stretch them out like that, just kind of lay them out. And then what I do to see, cause like if I try to rub them out there, there's still like all kind of wrinkles in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick my hand inside the sleeve fan out my hand and my fingers so that it kind of flattens the sleeve. See how it's flattened it there? And now it's easier to rub those wrinkles out. That over here as well. So basically I'm putting my hand in, fanning it out, and just kind of smoothing it out when I pull it out. So there you go, boom, boom, boom. There you go, sleeves are flat. Now we just rub the rest of the shirt out, get all those excess wrinkles out. Boom, there it is. Picture perfect, easy to do, even on a thin shirt. Now let's use another shirt to show you guys the other flat lay style, which is called, which I call like, because it looks like an arrow. So I'll show you guys right now. Here goes the arrow guys, same thing. We're gonna follow the same step to lay it down. So I'm gonna get it nice and flat back. There we go. And we're gonna lay it down like so. We'll fix our sleeves, same thing, nice and flat. Okay, now that we have this flat t-shirt to work with here, now what we're going to do is we're going to do the arrow look. So basically what that does is it tucks the sleeves behind the body of the shirt and brings out the chest so that it emphasizes the graphic of the shirt more or whatever's going on here on the abdomen area. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our thumb underneath the armpit, both thumbs under each armpit, fingers over the sleeves, and then we're going to keep the chest wide while using our fingers to bring the sleeves in. See how I just did that? Boom. And now just fix it up. Do your finishing touches. If you want to bring the sleeves in more, you can. So this is a look that I've been seeing some vintage accounts, some vintage t-shirt accounts doing more and more lately. I like it. I think it accentuates the graphic a lot more. And especially if you have a shirt with uh, bigger sleeves that you don't want fanning out too far out from the shirt, you could do this and it makes them look like, I don't know, it gives it a really cool effect. So that's another way to style your shirt. And I'm actually, I want the, the I'm gonna put my thumbs even deeper into the shirt here to really hide those sleeves. So just like that, and then just make your adjustments to clean it up. There you go, boom. Fanning out the rest of it. There you go, I like that. I like the way the sleeves are coming out and see how it kind of looks like an arrow going up. So I kind of nicknamed this like that, the arrow or the house, whatever you guys want to call it. All right, and the last style is gonna be the messy look. 
Uh, this was pretty self-explanatory. I think everybody will be like, yo, I just throw the shirt on the floor. But here's how I do it, because I kind of wanted to have like a little bit of aesthetic. You always want your shirts to look like you want people to put them on from the picture. Like you want your, I want my customers to look at a picture and be like, wow, I want to wear that shirt right now. You know, a lot of times you see a shirt that doesn't even have a crazy graphic, but just the aesthetic, the way it was laid and displayed. It's so important. So here's this one. I'm going to lay it flat first. All right. Lay it flat. That's like the base here. Now from here, we could do our messy look. So a couple things that I like to do is I love to curl the sleeves in like that. All right. Kind of just go off of your eye. Just like that. Boom. I like to fan the bottom here, let a little bit of air in there, just like that. Give it a real natural look. I like to flip up the bottom and I like to turn the abdomen center either left or right. So I'm gonna turn this one, I'm gonna grab it from the bottom, turn the bottom to the right, poke this left side over here to the left a little bit, cause a little bit of a scrunch there. Give it another fan. And that's my messy look, guys. I'm good with that. It doesn't overdo it. It just looks really cool and messy. And that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you guys got some value out of my uh, methods of laying a t-shirt flat. If you did, please share this. Like, comment. Let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments. Uh, that's going to be it for me. I'm going to have some breakfast now with wifey. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.